I mean, first and foremost, as you know, I'm my, my primary training is as a, a radiation oncologist, a scientist. I, I think science and the body and uh, is amazing. It's a it's an ordered creation which has ordered um, ways of bringing about healing, and that is what I'm trained in. I'm trained in those orders way ordered ways of bringing about healing, and uh, I I receive medicine as a gift from the Lord. I receive our minds that are able to understand uh, the science of our world and certainly of our bodies and of disease um, also as a gift. Uh, and and so I first and foremost um, you know view uh, medicine and caring for the sick as as an outflow of God's creation and 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 as the primary way of of healing people uh, and and it is amazing to see for example someone you know with just something as simple as a debilitatingly painful uh, area of cancer in a bone and I treat it and the person has no pain and is able to go on walks and pick up their grandchildren and I mean that to me is a is a is a beautiful way of bringing about healing and there's myriad ways in which we we by understanding our world by understanding the created order bring about healing to our patients so I believe that is first and foremost and uh, I, I do believe in miraculous healings. I've certainly seen kind of unexplainable by scientific means ways in which people's disease has has subsided, uh, allowing for uh, certain things to occur. So for example, you know, someone's disease trajectory suddenly, uh, you know, you think that they're going to die very quickly and yet they have this goal to walk their daughter down the aisle. I can think of a patient with this very story and I think, oh my goodness, they're never going to make it. But this this person, it, their, their disease just seemingly miraculously just stops and they're able to actually reach that, reach that goal. And, uh, and, you know, and I, I would say that because ultimately, you know, it's so easy to have our minds framed around our, our material existence. And so we tend to focus on the, the, the miracle of bringing about more material existence. But ultimately, I think miraculous healings, uh, they need to have, they, they, they should point to our existence beyond this, this world. And uh, so I don't go about seeking, uh, I mean, of course, I always want my patients to be miraculously healed, and I hope, hope for that. Um, but my understanding and expectation is that that's only going to be happening in whatever form as it ultimately brings about a healing that's going to be an eternal form of healing, because that's the only, all of us, you know, even if I can prolong, even if someone's cancer that's you know advanced cancer incurable suddenly all disappears the person is going to one day die um, and but there is an eternal existence that will never die and so where healing happens whether it's from you know biological means uh, ordered means or whether via miraculous means it is to point to the the ultimate healer and I believe that 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 both do, 